All right, we're back. Episode 23 of the Sab Powers podcast. One of my first subscribers from using the Tom strategy and now YouTube friend, Kenya. How's it going? I'm doing great. We're in quarantine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Uh, every day life, so I'm good with it. Cool, cool. And, and uh, how, you, you post like a YouTube video like once a week, right? Yeah, I'm trying to stay co more consistent at it. So once a week, like Saturday to Sunday, depending on like when I can get it out. But losing weight is like takes time. So once a week is good. Do you want to like plug all your stuff? Tell everyone what your channel is about that kind of thing right now so that if people want to go check out your thing, they can. Yeah, so I'm Kenya Mama 4 now, and uh, my channel is about Watch Me Shrink Journey. So you're going to watch me shrink back to my regular size weight. And after I get to my goal of weight, then I'll be going and searching back for my abs. And my channel is about motivation and inspiring other young or wherever you're at when you have kids. And you can get your body back. You don't have to like settle for whatever the baby gave you after. You can work it off and be your best. And that's what my channel is about. So if you're interested in it, just uh, hopefully you put my link in. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm doing that now. I, I put all the links in now that you said that. That, that was really yeah. smart. I should have been doing that from the start. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you just click it. And I have lots of content from the past all the way till now and I'm on baby number four doing this so I'm excited about my journey and I'm doing it a little different this time to just kind of play with YouTube a little bit mm -hmm. and it doesn't just have to be for moms like I work out when I'm watching your videos you're like it's inspiration inspiration to me too I don't have any kids so <laughs> yeah no it's for anybody but yeah. you know mostly it's very um when you are after having a baby mentally, it's, it's like, I'm not going to say you give up, but you went from like eating like whatever you want to now you can't do that. If not, you're going to gain that weight. And uh, I always just push forth because I like to take care of myself and my health. And I just like to look my best when I'm out. I don't like going shopping and I can't wear this or I can't fit this. And I love the reaction of like, what, you have kids? And it's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be, you know, taking care of myself as a mother. Mm -hmm. And you should try to live like a healthy lifestyle, right? Like my friend Joel just tried to get me to quit smoking. And he's like devised this like plan for me and stuff. And I was like, oh, it's really sweet. You know, he wants me to like live a longer, healthier lifestyle like we all should be trying to do, right? Yeah, I think everyone should be on their path to it. It is hard with all the temptation. I mean, we have fast food everywhere. We got now people that will go get fast food for you. It's not like, okay, <laughs> yeah. you know, like now you can make it so convenient to do bad that mm -hmm. it's very difficult now to do the right thing. So just be tracking yourself in positive habits. You'll get results naturally. For sure, for sure. Do you remember how many uh, subscribers I had when we first started like talking or whatever on YouTube? You were you were like, I think under a hundred. Yeah, for sure under a yeah, hundred. You, know, you were like, I and I'm like, who is this person trying to chase Tom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that what it what it was? Tom was on your uh, commenting on your videos, and then I was calling him out. Yeah, well, you asked me, did Tom comment? And then when I was like, not, not that I knew of or was aware of, and YouTube has changed from me getting back on. Like, you caught me right when I was getting back into the cycle, but YouTube's changed. Before, I would never, like, comment back. I wouldn't hit the like. Like, I just got to let people comment and just, you know, go from there. So now people like that interaction. So when you asked me that I know Tom, I was like, Am I snitching on him? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so That's when I looked into what you were talking about, I'm like, oh, yeah, the robot guy. You know, yeah, he goes around and just, it's just a way to keep the community flowing on your, you know, at least you get one comment, right? 
Yeah, for <laughs> sure. That's hilarious. His name's Logan now, but um, I think something like really suspicious is going on though, because there's so many bots, right? And like I have a uh, like TubeBuddy, which like lets me see compare my stats to other channels, right? When I go on their channels, a graph mm -hmm. pops up, and uh, for these bots that have no videos, they used to be getting like three thousand videos a day and and different stuff like that. So I think he's like scamming like small channels somehow that have been around for a while so they have like the ability to comment and then he'll like take it over that's what i think is happening it's just a theory i don't know if that's true but i believe you on that like it's so many mysterious things that happen on youtube that is just kind of weird to small youtubers where they can't get like ahead mm -hmm. i've even had someone put me in their playlist and they were like getting my views on their playlist and I'm like, what the heck? So I just wouldn't be surprised. Like, wait, if so you don't know. if your video is in a playlist and somebody watches it, you don't get the views, like just the playlist gets the views. Is that, I don't understand. I don't get it either. So when I look into it, my views on my actual page and in my, the views for them was two different numbers. Mm. But it had all my information. It had the whole thing, like, it was on my channel, but it was under their playlist. That's so if so you weird. create a playlist under your channel, those views have to some way get to you. At least that's my logic. I don't know. I just confronted them and said, hey, can you take my video off of um, their playlist? Which you don't even want to know what the playlist was about. It's like, Latinos, like, sexy Latinos with their stomach all out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Is that what the playlist was for real? <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh my God. I'm like, that's not what I'm representing. I'm not representing like I'm embracing it. It's a, a Watch Me Shrink back in 2015 was a big uh, YouTube search. Mm. And it's really not that big anymore. Now it's weight loss journey that is a, like the, the main keywords. So they're taking those Watch Me Shrink videos of girls putting their you know their body all out there and putting in the playlist but it's not being represented as weight loss it's more like look at this sexy lady and put it her stomach out there. Yeah, yeah. you know i don't know what kind of fetish is happening but i was like that's not my channel please yeah <laughs> Do you, uh, do you believe in ghosts at all i, I asked everyone I, I know you knew this question was coming yeah. so <laughs> I never knew what she was gonna ask me, but <laughs> even ghosts, uh, I, spirits. That's that's my thing. I believe that there's spirits because of energy. So mm -hmm. I think that they play with the energies and the dimensions that our trained eye can't see, and they try to communicate with us um, through different methods. So I don't know if that would be ghosts. But spirit. Right, not necessarily like a, a person that died, but just some sort of being out there kind of thing. Is that? Yeah, like maybe they did die. Maybe they mm -hmm. never, maybe they're trying to get here. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. I just think that it's definitely some type of spirits that are here with us because mm -hmm. there's like residue of everything, you know? Um, even when like, when it comes to rocks, right? We see like their spirit in a way because of, you can see like the water went down on it. You can see it. Oh. Did it go out? Okay. I just changed so, your picture for a second. Yeah, Yeah, I know, it like went out. So you can see it. So I just think that there's like spirits out there. Cool, cool. Um, have, you, uh, have you tried to get monetized on YouTube? Because I know you're over a, a thousand subscribers, right? Yeah, I'm over a thousand, and uh, which that was a goal of mine when I actually put it to action. But I haven't been monetized yet because you need four thousand hours. And now the way YouTube does it is different from like I said when I first started. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like gaining hours as I go. The more content you put out there, just the hours will accumulate. And last year I got a total of ten thousand hours, so I'm not worried about like the hours you know it's more about, oh yeah and it's know, all in the last past year right i forgot that it's not of all time because i was like if you had ten thousand hours that's crazy that's awesome you got ten thousand hours i like yeah. i have i have like 60 hours or something i don't know 100 and something i don't know not very many 
yeah yeah no um you'll get them that's why i said just keep dropping your content and mm -hmm. people will come like just i can't believe that some of the videos that i was like oh it's only 10 views and just looking back through my history i'm like wow these videos i remember i'll just like oh you know and now they're at a thousand they're at i got one video that's over a hundred thousand k like that's i never incredible. thought that that was gonna happen but it did so just and that video still continues to gain views on it even though it's an old video so people will come across it later through youtube life like library and they'll be picking it up and before you know you, your hours are coming in right it might just have some like key thing that they search because like a lot of people just use youtube like as a search engine almost like google nowadays right if they want to learn something instead of typing it into google a lot of time they'll just type it into youtube right so i'm trying to like figure Absolutely. out like the right trends to hop on and stuff like my most viewed video is like the what's inside your butthole song because i just like hopped on that trend right away right so yeah <laughs> yeah no you'll when like i always um anybody that is a youtuber watching this take the youtube academy because that really teaches you how to hone into your perspective of youtube like what do you want to bring to youtube and a lot of people say lifestyle well we all live a lifestyle so not you know lifestyle videos are cool but we all live a lifestyle but what do you do in your lifestyle that takes you out of the element of everybody else you know, so some people do cooking as a lifestyle, some people do gardening, and then you hone into that niche. So right now what you're doing is like podcasting and you're honing in to the podcasting world where people that want to listen, they're coming and they're checking and they're sticking with you. And that's the whole mm -hmm. point. When they put in your name, is it going to pop up or your video is going to be at the bottom of the list? And you want everything about podcasting to be about you. So yeah. that's the way <laughs> that it works. What is so what, when you put in watch me stream, I'm like all over it. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. You wanna just hone into whatever topic it is. It doesn't have to be trending or not. It's just about what are people looking into. Unless you're trying to be a trendsetter, then it's different. Um, so what is this YouTube uh YouTube Academy um that you were talking about? Oh, YouTube has an academy where you go under your studio and uh, you can take their academy. And it's a like six, six different like um, categories and there's lessons in those categories and you take quizzes on it and then you can graduate from their academy. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And it awesome. teaches is, you more about YouTube. Is it free? Yes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, here, I got, I got to pause this for one minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, do that. Okay, thanks. And we're back. Um, I don't even remember what we were just talking about. My memory is really bad. Smoke too much weed. YouTube <laughs> Academy, check it out. Oh, YouTube right, Academy. yes. Okay, I, I'm actually going to do that. Yeah, that for sure. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Man, so you, like, you support me like crazy, like probably more than anyone else. And like we've never even met or talked until now, right? We, like, well... So like, is there, is there anyone else on YouTube that you support hardcore like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I really, okay. So there's something called small YouTuber support that I learned about. And before it was just like all weight loss community people I used to support. It was just like anybody that had weight loss going on. And then I went, when I came back to YouTube, when I mean back, like started to upload videos, small YouTuber support group is out there where other small YouTubers start to network to help support their channels. So now it, I kind of came across you and a few other people that are outside of the weight loss community that I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, I like your content and I really support. Um, a lot of other people are like the bigger YouTubers and you just kind of watch their videos and you know move on but yeah there's like you there's um i listen to morgan call she she talks about the bible uh there's her wild boys her she does like um autism awareness uh chantelle's world she has like a lifestyle video so i support like a lot of them and then i have the weight loss community that i support um that some of the ladies that i've been working with since 2015 so yeah but i mm -hmm. had it was really interesting because I never seen anybody run after a robot. So 
So I was just like, how far is she going to get? <laughs> and then you switched it into podcasting. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then you did ukulele. And I was like, all right, this is, this is cool. And the number one thing is um, your videos were short. So it was like, I could get on, listen, watch, and, you know, move on. It wasn't like long, long videos, which nothing's wrong with that, but it was perfect for me. And I was able to catch up real quick on the playlist. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. And like, like you said about like the video length, I actually like, I, I really like it too when I find a channel and there's shorter videos, like if I find a channel and it's like someone playing video games for two hours, it's every video. It's like, do, do I really want to even like try to watch this? <laughs> like, right. <I'll> just... <laughs> yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just mm -hmm. like, my, like, like we we're saying the schedule be busy sometimes. So we don't have the time to really put, you know, 40 minutes or an hour worth of it. If not, you're not really paying attention and listening to it. And that's not good because you want people to pay attention and listen. So to me, um, YouTube Academy also explains on what's the good time length for your videos and what will keep your, your audience, um, you know, attention. And a lot of people will click right off. So for me, um, I try to give as much information in a short amount of time. And I have very valuable information that said, if you're offering valuable information, your video can be long because it's valuable information to the listener. Mm -hmm. But if it's just kind of like, like you said, a video game and you don't even play Minecraft, then you're not like, <laughs> you're not going to probably give them that like 15 minutes of audience time. So you want to know who your audience is so you can appeal directly to them. And uh, so when I got out of my comfort zone, I've been meeting really awesome people and I'm so happy that I could support your channel. And uh, it's it's been cool ever since we've uh, came in contact with each other. Yeah, so, it, no it's about. it's awesome. I never expected to be like watching all these different kinds of content on YouTube and <laughs> right. like finding like all these different people. It's like I like I, I wish I just started this like a long time ago. It's weird that something like so bad like the coronavirus had to happen in order to push me uh, to start YouTube when I could have been doing this like forever, you know. <laughs> I mean, but it takes that, you know, it mm. takes sometimes to sit down for you to play with something. And a lot of people find knowledge in, in sitting down. They're like, well, I'll open this book now. And all of a sudden their views have changed on whatever. So you opened up a book of YouTube and I call YouTube a library because we go to a library and there's so much content, so many different authors and books and you know, but not everybody walks away. So when it comes to subscribers, right? Mm -hmm. Not everybody needs to subscribe. If I'm only here to see how Japanese water can work, I really don't need to like watch the rest of your content. I just am looking for that information. Right. But if I'm looking to, to watch you, you know, expand, then I'm, I need to subscribe. I'm a fan now. And I need to, and I want to watch you grow. So I have to, I think a lot of YouTubers forget that it's not a sub for sub. This isn't Facebook. This isn't, you know, Twitter or Instagram. Mm -hmm. This is our real time putting into these videos and editing them and showing like, Hey, I'm here. If you need me, that's why you're subscribing. But if you're looking for information, you can just click and keep going. And that's just like a library. You can buy the book. Mm -hmm. Some people buy those books and some people just, no, I read it. <laughs> and, they give it back just as simple yeah i i definitely agree with you like the sub for sub thing doesn't work because it's like you only have time to like watch so many videos a day right like i try to i try to fit in like like i try to watch one of your videos every day i try to watch like david green if he posts a video you know what i mean he's like more like and like but you have like such a backlog that like i think I, <laughs> i've done over half of yours by now how many videos do you have do you know I think Around. I'm up to like almost 200. Yeah, I have a lot of videos. You bring me back to videos. I'm like, I, I forgot all about them. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. even go. You know, you keep posting and dropping and posting and dropping them. And um, you're right. You know, it, you can only watch so many videos in a day. And for you to be a genuine supporter, you have to be involved, interactive. You know, you want to be there for them as much as they'll return, you know, return it. And the bigger YouTube YouTubers, unfortunately, their list is so long of people that they're, they 
right now just have the fan and can only thank everybody collectively. Like right now being small YouTubers is cool because we're able to connect. But once you get over a certain amount of people, you know, imagine Mariah Carey going to all her fans. Like that's, she's not going to be able to do that in a week. It would take her a long time to finish that. Yeah, but I bet she still, well, at least hopefully still remembers like the fans that she had when she was just starting. You know what I mean? Like if I ever hit a million subscribers, I'm not going to be like, fuck Kenya now, you know, I'll still like support you and shit. Even if I hit a million, because like, I remember that. You always remember those people. Mm -hmm. Always. You'll always remember those true, like, wow, you believed in me. Like, these are my true supporters. And you just have people, your listeners, you know, so that's why I, um, a lot of people have got hooked up into the, I don't have enough subs. Don't worry about it. The people that organically want to subscribe to you, mm -hmm. that's because they're real fans. They're real people that are like looking forward to your content. Other people think of yourself as a library. Hey, they just want to check me out and they return me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <but> <laughs> it's metaphoric, but you know, that's mm -hmm. the way you don't get your feelings caught into this. You know, it's not about a feelings. It's about a creator and a viewer. For sure. I totally agree. Um, is there anything you wanted to say before we end it? No, uh, well, no, but to all of anybody that's watching you, I want to wish you the best of luck on your channel and your podcast. And Thank even you. if, okay, so you, you, um, interviewed i forgot his name but he also does pod well you had a few people that do some type of podcasting but i think he was your cousin he had like right a yeah yeah and, Thomas. oh my god <laughs> yeah, and I was like oh you're this and then you turn into that and then you do this and i'm like but it's cool because you're exploring who you are and what you're doing right. and um i just think that you should continue to do what you're doing because it's awesome and watching him grow is awesome so anybody that's watching watch him grow and uh you were good at battle rap too by the way it thank cool. you so much <laughs> thank you so much i look back on those and i cringe now because it was so long ago it's like 10 years ago um but yeah, thank you so much. I have like a couple of good battles that I like. For anyone that wants to watch my battles, you have to look up sabotage and then you have to click, yes, I meant to say sabotage because it auto corrects the sabotage. It's a whole big yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm no, surprised you could cool, find though. this. It was, it was cool that he, uh, it was cool you had him on because he gave a like a background of you. And right. in all your interviews, you're not like, um, you know, you're making it about the person you're interviewing, but you give us a little bit. And that's mm. the secret. It's like, who more is sad power? It's like, who more? And you give us a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's a perfect formula for a host. So just keep it up. And I'm rooting for you a thousand percent. Thank you so much for saying all that. Because I don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just like <laughs> going with the flow here. You're Thank you. It. Thank you You're so much. It. Everybody You're subscribe. Welcome. You're the best. And uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>